Canadian rocker and one of my favorites, Sam Roberts, talks new music and Gord Downey in today's entertainment city. But first, Mariah Carey and James Packer's breakup is becoming a battle of he said, she said. It's straight ahead, guys, straight ahead! Sounds like things are getting ugly in the Mariah Carey James Packer split. As we first told you yesterday, the singer and her billionaire beau reportedly called off their engagement. Today, we're hearing the couple's relationship went south during a vacation in Greece last month, when Packer supposedly mistreated Carey's assistant and even got violent. Sources from Carey's camp are claiming that the business tycoon is not in a good mental state and hasn't been present for her or her family. However, Packer's side is saying that's simply untrue and that the split was caused by Carey's issues. There's also a report that the pop diva found comfort in the arms of one of her dancers as her relationship with Packer fizzled and that Packer was crazy jealous. The couple has yet to release any sort of statement officially confirming their split. Remember Celebgate? In September 2014, when Jennifer Lawrence, Kate Upton, and Kaylee Cuoco, among others, had their email accounts hacked and nude or nearly nude photos leaked? Well, a Pennsylvania man has now been sentenced to 18 months in federal prison for hacking those accounts and at least 100 more. He pleaded guilty back in March. However, investigators haven't found any evidence that ties him to the actual leaking of the photos. He's the boss with 20 Grammy Awards, two Golden Globes, and an Oscar to his name. Now, Bruce Springsteen has added author to his long list of accomplishments. Springsteen made his only Canadian stop in downtown Toronto to promote his autobiography, Born to Run. 600 fans got to have a little chat and take a photo with the iconic rocker after waiting in line for hours. This is the debut single off Terraform, the sixth album from Sam Roberts' band, Out Today. Terry Hart caught up with Sam himself to talk new music and uniting around a fellow Canadian rocker. It's so exciting to have another record from the Sam Roberts band. How did you approach this one? It all sort of starts the same way, which is this kind of wide open canvas. You just don't know what, what kind of music is going to come out, how it's going to come out. Will it be easy? Will it be a struggle? How do, have you seen Sam, the Canadian music scene, kind of come together and rally together around the Gord Downey? It's obviously very difficult for everybody to see one of our close friends and also to somebody that I think we all admire as a, a human being and as a songwriter have to live through something this difficult, but the like, Canadian music scene is one of the most tight-knit families you could ever possibly hope to be a part of. Whenever one of us is going through a difficult time, I think we just try to reinforce the fact that this is a great family, and you try to raise everybody up as much as you can. Terry also caught up with Tove Lo. The Swedish singer who's sometimes brutally honest songs started lighting up the charts two years ago. Now she's debuting her second album, Ladywood. It's out today. You're so personal. You're so raw in your lyrics. Has there ever been anything that you put out there that you're like, hey, maybe I want to take that back and have that for me? Honestly, no. I'm kind of an open book because it's my outlet, my way to express myself, like my, the way I need to express myself. So I think that if I start changing that, then I will lose the whole reason why I'm doing it. Like the whole tone of the album, it's all about chasing rushes and trying to feel the most alive in every moment and like chasing those highs, but then also getting the uh, extreme lows with that. Amazing. Thanks, Terry. By the way, next week is Dr. Strange Week on Entertainment City. Oh, yeah, we are catching up with Benedict Cumberbatch and the other stars of Marvel's magical new movie.